Now then, guys, welcome to Stras Gaming. I'm Luke, and this is my Harrogate save on Football Manager 2020, my road to glory. We're in the championship. It is season seven, I believe it is. And things are going okay-ish. And if you are new to this video and it's the first time you've clicked on one of my videos and you enjoy it, please subscribe. I'm trying to get to 200 by the end of the year. 200 subscribers by the end of the year, it would be absolutely class. 164 I'm on at the minute. It just would be awesome. So thank you very much. And thank you for the new subscribers as well. It's been pretty good. Right, so we've, I'm not going to talk too much in this intro. We're just going to get straight into it and just see what we've been up to since the last time uh, you saw us. So... Last time out, we uh, we drew against West Brom. Well, we didn't. We, we got knocked out of the Carabao Cup by West Brom. On penalties, it wasn't a bad game. We did all right. And then we managed to beat Derby 2-0. It was good. It looked like September. Good month for us. Form were going well. Then it came into October. And I think, obviously, oh, started to get a bit cold. Players, we didn't really play that well. We managed to get a draw against Crystal Palace. Not a bad draw. 2-2. Two -two. Um, Moles and Hayes getting on the score sheet. Hayes scoring in the 89th minute to get as the equaliser. We then followed that up by three defeats. Uh, away to Middlesbrough, 3-0. Brentford was 2-1. And Luton was 3-0 as well. But then, changed the tactic. for it's just not working. So I've gone back to the 4-2-3-1. And it worked. We managed to beat Freewood 6-2. Leighton Stewart, Pilkington, Anthony, McDonald and Mario all scoring. And it was away from home as well. So, if we have a look at this. We've had some games where we scored seven goals. Six goals. We can score goals when when we're on it. So hopefully today, when we play Sunderland, who are in sixth place and QPR, that are in third, we should hopefully be able to score some goals and do all right. League-wise, it's still a similar story. We're still in 18th place. Seven points clear of West Ham. Um, the playoffs, we're nowhere near that. We're not even going to look at that, ain't we? Ten points. Nine points of getting into the playoffs. So actually, we're closer to getting into the playoffs than we are being relegated at the minute, but we won't think about that. There's a long way to go this season. We just need to uh, keep going. Leighton Stewart, though, as long as he doesn't get injured, he's on to getting top goal scorer for this season, which would be amazing if that is the case. So, yeah, Sunderland in sixth place. This is how we're going to be lining up. Tactics-wise, it's going to load up. There we go. So this is what I did before. Um, there is an injury there we need to kind of think about. I'll quickly sort that out now. So... McGee's going to be in goal, back from injury. Um, then we've got Bree. McDonald, I've dropped in, I've, uh, dropped him in as centre-back. And he's been playing all right at centre-back. Alongside him with Williams and then Shielden. Obviously, they've already built a partnership up. Then we've got Bird and Moles as the two midfielders. Pilkington, Anthony. Mario in the centre as an attacking midfielder. We've got two... We can actually now probably put him as a, as a playmaker instead. Because we haven't really got a playmaker on the pitch. We'll do that. And then Stewart up top on the bench, Buckingham, uh, Wilkes. We've got Hayes. Um, anyone else from me? Think obviously Lopez has picked up an injury. I didn't realise he's not. He can he can play, but I'm not going to risk him. I'm really not. Has he scored for us yet, Lopez? Lopez is turning out to be a bit of a poor signing. I'm, I'm thinking of maybe selling him. He's done really well for us in the future, but if we can get some money for him, that would be awesome uh, for Lopez. But he's not done great, so I think I'm going to start giving Raphael. A bit of a chance because he's got more. Um, well, he's younger. He's got more potential. So I think we'll, we'll start trying to give him give him a go. So I'm not going to talk anymore. We're going to get into this game and see how we get on. Team talk. I'm just going to say just go out there and just I have faith. That's my, that's my general thing. Just passionate. Tell them that you've got faith. That tends to put them in good stead. It really does. Right. Kick off. See how we get on. Corner kick though. For us. Oh, I thought we were going to go get a goal early on from a corner. Again, I still need to sit and play around with the corner settings. Um, I will do that at some point, probably after I've recorded this episode, if I remember. So remind me down in the comments to uh, play around with the older uh, tactics. But here we go. Corner for Sunderland. We managed to defend it so far. Second cross comes in. Luke McGee is there and makes the save, which is awesome. Right, it's the counter, the highlight is still going to. Is it going to be us? Pilkington picks the ball up quite nicely here. Pilkington with a shot. And we have seen him score goals like that before. And he goes close, but unfortunately doesn't get the goal. So no, no at half time. A couple of yellow cards to kind of worry about a little bit. But overall, I'm going to say I'm happy with how things are going. Um, again, Sunderland are in sixth place. 
We're at home. Again, home games I really want to try and win. I'm going to make a sub, an early sub. Anthony is on a poor game. So I'm going to bring on Tyree Shade. He's he's come on a couple of times and he's not done too bad. We'll do an inside forward and we'll uh, we'll get him on the pitch and see how he how he does. But the first highlight we're going to see of this second half, it's going to be is actually but in fact, it's going to be I was going to say a red card, but not Pilkington wins the ball back to Stewart. It's a good tackle there, but surely is the ref going to play advantage and send that guy, if we should have got the free kick there, but it goes for a corner. That was very weird. One thing I don't actually see is advantage be played in this game. Cross comes in. No one really there. Williams, though, picks the ball up. And the good thing about having McDonald as centre-back, he's also a very good midfielder. He's got some good stats, so he can play with the ball. He can certainly score a couple of goals for us as well. All right, here we go. Bree. Can we just find the goal we are, we're getting all the possession we're having all the shots we're doing everything right at the minute so we've just got to keep going we're playing it out the back here it's a bit dangerous we're ball over to shade shade beats his man can they he can't really do it again he lose it out but then moles picks the ball up Sunderland have dropped quite deep by the looks of things uh, we're just pressing and pressing and pressing it's only gonna be the amount of the time where the ball over the top comes and that's a very good tackle from williams corner kick and then another corner to defend i don't like defending set pieces I really don't like defending set pieces, and we do manage to clear it. Goes out for a throw-in. Is the highlight going to end? It does end, right. Substitution time. Maybe Moles for Hayes. Then, can, can Hayes be a box-to-box -box midfielder? He actually can, so I'm going to leave Hayes as a box-to-box -box midfielder. Oh, I could put you as an attacking... Midfielder and just do an advanced playmaker. In fact, deep line playmaker for you. We'll do that, and we'll see how we uh, how we get on. I'm going to make another sub, and I don't know what to do here. But I'm thinking I don't want yeah high risk of injury, Stewart. So I'm actually going to put Raphael on just to give him a game and just see he might come out of the woodwork and score as a goal. Also, there were some tactics about me telling to pass into space. So I might do that. I might go for hit the early cross. And then, can we, where is the pass into space option? Pass into space. There we go. Let's see how we get on. Made a couple of changes, a couple of tweaks. Whether it's going to make too too much. But, ah, Shades picked up an injury. Pilkington, debris. Tries to find the cross. Pilkington then picks the ball up. He's looking quite good, Pilkington is. Cross comes in. Tyree showed the substitute. Gets the goal. He's injured, but that is the all-important goal that what we need. And Pilkington, oh, it's not him, it's Bree. Picks the ball up. I put hit the early cross. Not quite early, but gets the cross in. Shades there. Puts it in the back of the net, and hopefully we can hold on now. Win this game 1-0. 2-0 would be even better. Mario has the shot. Pilkington, a bit too far for him, but... Wins the ball again. Pilkington is actually beating his men quite a lot. You'd think sometimes some of the uh, actions we've seen, he normally would lose out. But again, it's not over yet. McGee, big ball over the top. Raphael's there. He beats his man. Raphael for the goal. Oh, he hits the post. That was a good shot from the youngster. And it's good to see. And I'm surely that is going to be the end of this game. That was very, very close from Raphael. It would have been nice for him to get the goal. 1-0. We get three points. That is a good start to this episode. It really, really is. Um... That was really special, lads. It really was special. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I may have got this tactic and this team working. All right, how injured is Shade, though? Two to three weeks, which is quite annoying. If we have a look at Shade, nine games, two goals. I'm playing him a little bit more. He's got potential to be a lot better. He's a fringe player. Obviously, he's 25, so I need to start playing him a bit more. His stats aren't particularly great. His physicals are really good. Technicals, he just needs to work on his passing and his technique, but... Showing a bit of promise at the minute. So, QPR up next. Let's get to that game now, shall we? So, here we are then. The QPR game. I've made one change. I brought on Hayes and then I'm going to rest Moles. I think just I want to keep Hayes playing as well. Keep him fit. Moles isn't particularly going to be injured. But it's just more of a... Just, just keeping, rotating the team a little bit. Getting the good players in there. Bird's going to still play. Other than that... Um, that's going to be it. Um, Shade obviously is out injured for a couple of weeks, so he's not on the bench. Lopez, no, not Lopez. There is Daniel has come on to the um, 
coming to the bench, a right back. There's a couple of players that have signed, and also there's a couple of players that have been around the club for a while, not happy with the game with the playing time, so they want to go out on loan, which I don't really mind. O'Shea came to me, the, obviously Daniel at the right back, and there was someone else, and I can't remember who it was, just complaining a little bit by game time, which I don't blame them. They're here. I've signed them to play football. They're not actually quite good enough. So if I can get them alone, I will do. But first highlight goes to us. And I thought that was in. How was that not in? That generally, for my eye, looked like that went in. That QPR. Hopefully, though, we can do, do all right. But I'm not too, not too sure. It depends who gets the first goal, I think. If we manage to hold out until half-time and then get... A result in the second half we should do all right it's just getting through these first 20 minutes i think is definitely big for us but we're looking like we're playing good stewart what a goal that was he's offside what a touch that was and a finish we go close twice shielden picks the ball up ah, can't get the cross in but now qpr come on the break he should have really squared it they had a man completely open in the box we got let off with that one we really did Right, another highlight. Definitely this this setup, this formation, this playing fluid counter attack, the four two three one seems to be at the minute working quite well for us. Whether we have to change back the tactic, the four three three at some point, I don't know. But we'll we'll keep it like this. Maybe just the four three three was just that little bit too defensive when we're trying to play attacking. We've got obviously Mario now. He's definitely uh, we, we go we go one nil down unfortunately. But I reckon we can we can pull a goal back. Um, we've got Mario now. He's very good in that attacking midfielder role, so it's good to try and try and get him to play there and get that role working. And that is who is Sterling with a cross? Ah, oh, Dijon Sterling. One 0 It's fine. I'm not too bothered just yet. Half time. I'm just going to say I expect something to see better in the second half. Someone wasn't happy. Hayes wasn't too happy. But where are we? We are. Currently 17th, 20 points. It's definitely what we want to do. Hopefully, though, if we can get a draw out of this game, out of these two games, four points, I'd happily have that. Try to play Anthony in over there. I might actually just change passing into space on again because that seemed to work well for us in the uh, in the last in the last game. My right, bird picks the ball up. I can't quite get his pass off, and then it's going to be another goal. In fact, no, I am going to go team instructions. I am going to pass into space, and then hit the early cross. That's what I did last time. I'm just going to, again, just see if it makes any difference for us to do it. Because obviously we've got the wingers. We've got this pace to try and just knock it on a little bit for the players to run on to. Right, after this highlight, I'm thinking maybe making a change. Here we go. Almost quite, didn't quite fall for him. It was a good pass though from uh, Pilkington. I think he's going to be the first one to come off. Not having a great game. Shot from QPR. And I think... Pilkington and Anthony not having great games, but I think in Pilkington off, we'll bring on uh, Wilkes. Not really played much football for us. Again, he, he's good. He's got the ability. Got him in on loan, but obviously Pilkington is miles better. I think. Well, it's probably about the same, but it's just the fact that I've just been... Pilkington's been around a lot longer. We go 2-0 down, unfortunately. Keep our move up into third place. It's going to be a tough one, this one. It always gonna, was going to be away from home, especially going attacking, and that's how I want to play. Just more attacking. If we manage to get a couple of goals, we do start to go. But, I ain't really got anyone to play on that left-hand side. Oh, I'm thinking, well, I might just put Wilkes on there. And then I'm going to bring on Raphael as an inside forward. He, he's played there a couple of times on the wing. He's not suited for the role, but it, it will do. We just need someone on that right-hand side. Hopefully, he can, he can get a bit more experience. Good getting him on the pitch why we've got him. He came close, obviously, scoring in the last game. We're going to go 3-0 down here. We are, unfortunately. That's the problem sometimes. It just happens. We um, have these games. We've been, obviously, the better team with all the possession. We had a good spell in the first half. We could have we had a goal disallowed. We came very close as well early on. If we maybe some chances came our way, it probably would have been a little bit better. Sub-wise, I'm thinking... Might put McDonald there. And then I'm going to spring on Joe Endhall. Centre back, we're already 3 0 down. I want to get Endhall some more experience playing. He's not really played much this season. He played a lot last season. He's not good enough to quite be starting every single game. That's why we've brought in 
Williams and McDonald actually is playing a lot better at the whole uh, centre back role. So we'll just give Endel just see out the game full time three 0 Unfortunately, we don't get the win, but I can't fault your efforts today. I'm not going to go t too terrible on them. It's, they're, they're looking like they're going to be fighting for promotion. QPR. That's the thing. Uh, Sunderland will be, I'm guessing, in and around the playoffs. Um, so yeah, that was it wasn't a bad result. One 0 against Sunderland, but then we ship goals. And when we when we do lose the team, we do kind of shift a few goals, which is is not great. But one 0 against there, that's it's decent. It really is. When are we going to come back next, though? Let's have a look. We've got Ipswich. We've got West Ham there. I'm going to try and play through quite a bit. I may play through to the end of December. We'll see. I might not too sure. I might try and play through to the end of December. I might come back in the middle of the month, Aston Villa, Brentford. We'll see how much you get played to when I actually come recording. Obviously, we've got... In fact, the third round of the FA Cup definitely needs to be in an episode. So, if I do come back, it'll probably be Middlesbrough in the, the FA Cup third round, just to see who we get into that. Uh, but other than that, I might just play a big chunk, try and get this season moving on a little bit. And then, also, it's getting into the transfer market time. And finances-wise, we've got £2 million in the bank. Uh, we are... Find my wages and stuff. I might actually make a board request. And I'm just thinking of networking. And I want to um, improve the youth intakes and stuff. So hopefully we should improve our youth recruitment to improve the quality of players entering our team. Let's go with that. We believe the club's youth recruitment is already good enough at a club our size. I might push this, but I might, this might be a bad idea. I'm going to go I'm going to argue with it. We want to do the best we can for the club. And if that means taking on and beating the big clubs, we're prepared to action that. That gets us the meeting. Right, okay. Does that mean we're going to improve it? Right, let's just go. Yeah. Get in. Right. I'm pleased to announce we're right to the board of agree to the crest of the meeting. Our youth recruitment network budget has been upgraded and over time we'll be considering on par with many clubs of our stature, which is what we need. It really is. Um, it's probably going to cost us a bit of money, um, but we need to um, start getting some regions through because the development centre, under 23s, is a very poor squad. Um, under 18, it's below average. It, it's not great. It really is. I don't think we've really got anyone in the under 23s. We've got, to be honest with you, we've got this kid, 18 years of age, sitting in there. Excellent youth prospect. For us. He's wanted by a couple of clubs on loan. I'm thinking, do we just chuck him into the squad at some point? We'll see how we go. But he can, R Richie can sit there for a little bit longer, see how we do. And we haven't really got anyone else under under 18s potential wise. There's no one here. There's going to be a lot of these that are just going to go. They're just taking up wage budgets that we don't need. And youth candidates, we, it's too early. It's not. We're not there yet. Loans, we've got players. These are the players we've got in on loan. The only one we've got out at the minute is George. Uh, at Crookshank, and he looked pretty decent. He's 20. I don't think he's going to be getting into our team anytime soon. Only worth 11k. So there's a couple of these players that will be looking to move on. He's on £450 a week. It's not too bad, but we need to start obviously structuring it. Well, quickly, while I'm here, obviously this episode is getting on a little bit. Staff-wise, if we have a look at the staff, I think recruitment team, scouting needs improving. Coaching is... We're doing it all right in the attacking, the defending... It's not too bad, the man management. We're not the worst. Again, with the uh, the whole medical staff, isn't too bad. So we could do with just getting some better scouts in uh, for judging players. We haven't got a technical director. We haven't got a loan manager either. What is a loan manager? So I probably need to look at getting in a technical director, maybe a loan manager. We'll, we'll see then to see how we, how we get on. So that is going to be it, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this episode. Just let me know down below in the comments what you'd do to try and improve this team. I think we're going in the right direction. I feel like quite confident that we're going to stay up this season, but there's a long way to go yet, and hopefully we can just start getting on a bit of a run of form, getting a couple more points, and then just working away from focusing on mid finishing mid-table, and then just build from there. So, guys, thank you very, very much for watching. Stay safe wherever you are. Take it easy, and I'll see you in a bit.